and we return, guys and girls, at the crux of another very crazy case. We've got some interviews to be done here. Three, I believe. I, was, I have two suspects. Felt you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Well, apparently Clemens didn't come in. I guess that's right. We didn't bring him in. So I'm going to talk to... There's Ryan. I'm going to talk to Varley first because Varley seems less... I'm less nervous about Varley. So we'll talk to him first. What's up, Varley boy? We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Whoa there. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Sure you are. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> how can you prove that I was? Dude, like, I got to see you lying about something hard and be like, I don't know how to fix them or, or, or I... I, I didn't break it, but just tell me you weren't there when you... Don't you remember signing your name on the frickin' paper? Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban? Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweep. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Hmm, at least we're right. Some new info. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. Really now? How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. How do we link him to Suburban? Well, we have Clemens who said that he was getting kickbacks by Reginald, so that would be a, a huge, huge, huge one. Hmm. The only other thing that would link him to Suburban was like, not, I mean, these all just link him to NCD. So we'll go with Walter Clemens' statement. Clemens says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure in getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money. But so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Hmm, what's the big date, I wonder? What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta-Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? This guy has lied twice. So I'm going to go with a lie for the third time, and we'll see where it takes us. You get those little accusatory messages that help you out. I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. He was talking about Suburban and blah, 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 but then he says anything about contributing to the fire, and we instantly know... It's got to be the mosquito coils in your locker, boy. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh, hang on. Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Hmm, we'll get more info. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. All right, so see, you do sometimes almost want to make the accusation. You can always back out of it. But you want to make the accusation just to see where it takes you and what it leads to. Interview one. Here we come. Ryan, you creepy looking. I don't like his face. He just looks like a bad guy. You're hurting me. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> If that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Whoa there, buddy. Don't be so rude to a police officer. Tell me about your literature. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> this is industrial sabotage, Brian. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Oh, like, as if you thought maybe no one would find out about the giant sack of pamphlets in your locker. Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them? Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. I guess you don't like him is what you're trying to tell me. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. That seems so dishonest. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Okay, so we got a person on a repair. Competition ticket, no. Redevelopment, no. The valve, no, because he was at Stefan's, not Sawyer. Huh. Okay, oh, this is probably it. He says it's easy to, to tamper with that. And he says if you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that. So I'm going to go with this one. Don't you guys think? Cross your fingers! Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay. So I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. Wow. <laughs> Guess we got an angry one on our hands here. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Oh my god, do we have any evidence against him here? Got the family heater, we've got Insta Heat, we've got none of this really ties into Suburban. Gas fitters, records. Anarchist papers. Nothing ties into Suburban. Maybe we just doubt him here? I'm not going with truth, that's for sure. Doubt, I guess. We can look at I mean if we accuse him of lying, let's see what he says. Tell me the truth, Ryan. It's the only chance you've got. You're getting some kind of kickback from the fund. So I'm an agitator for change, but I take kickbacks. How does that make any sense? Do we have anything that proves he's taking kickbacks? I mean, we have the fact that Walter Clemens said that he was getting kickbacks by Reginald Varley. We don't have the thing from Varley saying that lots of people were taking kickbacks, though. What do you all think is the real answer here? I don't know. I'm confused. We couldn't... I don't want to get this wrong because we have to accuse somebody here in this this episode. And, and the only way we're going to do it is by knowing absolutely 100,000 million percent who, you know, who the real, real trickster is. Okay, so none of this stuff works, right, for Suburban. This is all tying him to Insta-Heat and Gas Heaters. I don't think any of this is really tying him to... I can wait just as long as you can. Okay, shut up, sir. We're the ones doing the questioning here. So you be quiet, because I told you to. Okay, um... What do we do? I kind of want to just doubt the guy. Let's look at him for a second. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. What do you think? Look at the guy's face. Is he being a liar or a doubter? <laughs> He's not being truthful. I guess it was dumb. We don't really have anything to prove it. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Whoa, they're angry. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. Sure you don't. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you going to prove that? Because we have your criminal... Like, these are these guys stupid? Do they not realize that I'm a police officer and have access to systems? You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. 
and the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? Asbestos Water Heater Company. He's got some anger. He's got a motive because his family was taken. I'm gonna, I want to go with him. I'm going to go see if I can talk to the other guy anymore. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Charging a suspect will close the case. Quickly, I'm gonna go. I just want to go see. Some kind of really, what is? What was his statement that he's trying to use here? No, this. No, not location. What am I doing? Clues. What is his statement? Matthew Ryan's statement at the bottom. He says Varley is conspiring. I guess we can go. Let's see if we can question Varley quickly about it. If it will give us another prompt. If not, I'm, go, I'm going to accuse Ryan. I think. I think he is the criminal, and that's. That's what I want to accuse. So, we'll quickly go check with Varley if he has anything new to say. And then we'll wrap this case up. Yeah, we have nothing. I'm going to go with the other guy. Varley, sure, Varley has a mosquito coil and he could be upset, but this guy is frustrated and freaking angry. And I don't like the feeling I get with him at all. The other guy wasn't mad. This guy's mad. I'm going to accuse you, sir. Right or wrong, cross your fingers. Matthew Ryan. I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was on America. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp on my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. Hmm. I guess that is a, a win. Some city damage, some vehicle damage, but get a distinguished Matthew Ryan from the grand jury with four murder charges running like holy cow! And that wraps this episode up, guys. First case of arson in our bag in the books. Hopefully Cole can regain some fame, some glory. And until we get to that point, have a fantastic day. Keep hitting that like button. And until next time, guys, we will see you later.